I'm in the restaurant business for 30 years and I did many, many restaurants in my life. And the first time that I experienced the Kangen water in the restaurant and uh, it just, every dish uh, I feel uh, some kind of uh, excitement in there. Uh, it, it tastes better in few words. Kangen water has been a big hit here at the Greek because, you know, the Mediterranean diet is, everybody knows it's a healthy diet and so forth with the olive oil and just adding the Kangen water um, is just amazing. And when I brought a machine in, which I thought was going to be temporary from my home, my employees wouldn't let me take it out and we started serving it then to all of our customers and uh, it's really a lot of fun. When I first decided to bring the SD501 in the restaurant because at first I bought one at home. Well, since we got the one SD501 for the restaurant, I said, you know, this will be a great idea. So by them coming because of the water, they realize, and wow, this is a big restaurant. Wow, they have a great food. Wow, they have a great staff, friendly, everything. We really have increased the business in the restaurant. As a matter of fact, I am proud to say, and, and honestly, we last year was the best year since I've been here, 23 years, in this economy. Now, two years ago, it was our worst year before I had the Kangen machine. Two years ago, it was our worst year for the 23 years I've been here. Last year, it was our best year. Well, I think that is a great deal with the Kangen machine because that SD501, the Kangen water, has increased the traffic. I was first told about a machine that's, uh, that can change the taste and the pH of the water and the machine is it's a Japanese machine. I, um, I really wanted to learn more about it. They brought me the machine, they did a demonstration here at the restaurant. And within 20 minutes I was convinced that this was the machine that I really needed to use for the restaurant. A lot of it had to do with my uh, background in chemistry, knowing that the pH of the water is very critical for cooking and cleaning. We focus on uh, homemade pastas and uh, quality in say. The Kangen water, when it was introduced to me by my business partner, I just, I was a little skeptical about, uh, but after tasting and try and try a few things like our soups and um, even the acid water cleaning uh, some of the floors, uh, I actually felt that there was just perfect uh, as quality ver versus l'opera quality, just a perfect match. In the kitchen, we actually wash the fruits and vegetables with the 11.5 the water to take the pesticides off. And uh, we also use it in the liquids like the soup, the alkalimino soup and the lentil soups, and it really makes the flavor much nicer of the soups as well as cooking faster. The first time I experimented the water for cooking, I did the experiment at home. We cooked a little a kind of beef stew, and my wife was kind of, you know, I said, no, honey, we're going to do a different way. We're going to do one with the tap water, one pot with the conga water. We use 9.5. I said, let's just see the difference, what, what we got to lose. She put exactly the same things, what she always put on the tap water, stew, spices and everything. She didn't put nothing on the one, the pot with stew with conch and water. When it was cooked and over, we tasted it. Now this had spices. It tasted good, as always. This had no spices whatsoever. It tasted better. She says, no, you sneaked up on me and you did put spices. I said, no, I didn't. I swear, I promise I didn't. This is the water. It draws the nutrition of the everything, of the potatoes, of the meats, and that's how it's so tasty. Everything you do, it's so tasty. So since then, I got the idea to cook in a restaurant. The guys, when they cook, my chef and whoever cooks there, they do the cooking with that water. The water changes the taste of the food completely. It brings out the freshness of the food, whether it's uh, vegetable, meat. The vegetable has never been greener. For most part, it makes a huge difference and the way that the, the food is presented to the customer and also the way I eat it. I mean, I, I like what I eat. One of the water that, uh, that we have, we, we, we're using it to rinse all our, uh, our salad. 
And again, that's very important. You don't want no residual in, in it. And actually feel crispy, feel fresher. The Ocalimino soup is, uh, is chicken based, and so the, the chicken is, um, a fresh chicken is boiled in water. And now we use the common water, and uh, it takes less time for it to cook, and it pulls more flavor out of the, out of the chicken for the soup. Then there's a liaison between uh, equal portions of egg and lemon, and that's whipped together and that creates the thickening. So most people think there's dairy or milk in the, the soup, but there's, there's no dairy. It's just made with water. So the great thing is, is if it gets too thick, you can just add more condon water and thin it down to whatever consistency you like. We cook a lot of oatmeal here for people, and oatmeal cooking it with regular water and cook oatmeal cooking with this water, it becomes so fluffy, so... I don't know, fluffy is a good word, but so rich, so, so, so unbelievably different from regular water. So why would I cook it with tap water? One of our specialty at Rehan is uh, the Ash soup. It's made with uh, about eight different leafy green vegetables, with uh, lentil, obviously lentil, garbanzo beans. It was actually made with local water, which was clean water. When we try to make the ash soup here at our restaurant, we, we realize that we don't have that water. We, um, we compromise by using chicken broth to bring the flavor of the soup. Now with this kanga water, we're, we're able to make the same soup that Frida's grandmother used to make high in the mountains above the Caspian Sea. Our customers love it. It's probably one of the best soups. Almost every one of them, as they come through the door, the first thing they ask for is ash soup as their pretty much appetizer. I mean, the stone is perfect with the, with the Kangen water because it just like a, it feels completely, it tastes completely different. It has so much more flavor. And we're using it to make our pasta, uh, to make our breads, uh, the focaccia breads, the, the bread sticks. Um, of course, the water to the guest and of course the water to boil the pasta. Again, it become part of what routine or what we do in uh, every day, what chef does every day. We've noticed that a lot of people are saying, did you get a new chef? Things taste better. They taste, you know, they've always been good, but they just taste better. And then I share with them that we're actually using the Kangen water in uh, preparation of the foods and then cleaning the vegetables. And especially, you know, with being a Greek restaurant, we sell a lot of Greek salads. People really love our Greek salad. And uh, now it's even better. Today we cook in a chicken and dumpling soup. And that chicken and dumpling soup, if you cook it with regular water, the dumplings are okay. They're good. We sell a lot of chicken dumpling soup. We are known for that. People come and get buckets of chicken and dumpling soup. We cook it with this water, 9.5, world of a difference. They come so much fluffier, so much tastier. And everybody's, what's your secret? What's your recipe? <laughs> it is a secret, <laughs> but it's not anymore. It's a Kangen water. The way I make my hummus is that I, I cook my garbanzo beans. Now, I can tell you the story about the garbanzo beans. We use, it used to take us a couple hours to cook the garbanzo beans in regular water, regular tap water. We start cooking the garbanzo, the dry garbanzo beans with 9.5. As far as the garbanzos, they cook faster and they taste better. For the same token, when I wash my meat in the same kind of water, it, it softens the meat. It just makes the meat tender easier to marinate. Deep down I know my customers are, what they're eating is clean and what I'm eating is clean. When we use the kangen water to make the coffee, we use a lot less beans. And we even call it kangen coffee. We make it with this water. Decaf, we use the packages of decaf coffee. Instead of using the whole package like we used to, we use half of a package. Now that half of a package, it is the same, exact same, no difference whatsoever than the regular whole pack of decaf. The difference is we make it with this water. I make my iced tea with the same tea that I, for the house tea, which is a black tea with cardamom. What's really nice about using the Kanga water for iced tea, I use less tea, but much more flavorable tea. And I can actually use the same pot three times and it will still give me the same tea, same result time after time. Buying high quality tea is very, very expensive. And just in that area, it has paid for itself. I said to my partner, uh, we have to come up with a way of actually uh, create 
a niche for it. And at that point, uh, we shop around to choose the right bottle for us. And uh, a little by little, I actually replaced the, the brand uh, of natural water that we used to use, and now it's only the Kangen water. What I use here at L'Opera is just quality ingredient, and of course it can and just fit perfectly. Being located right here on the, on the water, on the ocean, it makes us more aware too of um, all the debris and, and trash that goes into the ocean. So we're very, very pleased that uh, we're not contributing to that. Having water in, in the restaurant is just amazing, and uh, all the uses that we've created and, and learned by talking to other people and just from what we've learned at home. It really saves you money and you're really doing a service to your customers and to your employees. I mean, I love the fact that our employees love the water and uh, they're happier employees. Our busboy goes around and uh, sprays the tables and he also uses a rag and it's been soaked under 2.5. Disinfected, cleaned, without any bleach smell. We have the health department here that do on a routine checkup. They come and they'll check everything and one of the deals they do is they check the pH of the water to see if it is, it will turn the color on the strip. He put the strip in the water and the color turned purple just like it's supposed to with the bleach, but yet it wasn't bleach. He didn't say nothing and I couldn't help it and I even asked him, I says, didn't notice any different, did you? He goes, what do you mean? I says, well, did you really notice anything different? He goes, no, it, it's good, it's fine. It turned the color, it's fine. It's enough bleach there. I says, there's no bleach there at all. He says, what do you mean there's no bleach there at all? I says, it's not. It just does the job without the bleach. So what do you use it? So I gave him a little lecture about the machine and I told him about it. He says, long as it works, long as my strip turns the color it's supposed to, I'm happy with it. And I told him a little bit how we disinfect everything, how we clean everything in the kitchen, how we keep this water for this, for that, and we even cook with the water, then we drink. Well, the nice thing about the Congan water is not only a green thing to do, but it saves money. So from an economical standpoint, too, and you don't have those chemical residues. We're starting to use it with our cleaning crew now that comes in the mornings and with the tile. So that's a, a new training that I'm um, having that because grout is something amazing that we've been able to clean grout. We like to have them clean the tables with the 2.5, especially the high chairs and the menus. Um, the hostesses do use the 2.5 to sanitize those and people like that fact too that, uh, that they know that when their children get in the high chairs that it's sanitary. We have 15,000 bottles of wines in inventory and a lot of them are very uh, premium, expensive. And uh, I purchased a machine uh, called Enomatic. It enabled me to serve my guests a couple ounces of a special wine. And the machine, of course, needs maintenance. And so it's very important that every month I clean the machine properly. And, and so I use uh, actually the acid water to flush the lines of uh, my machine. And it works great. I was very skeptical about buying the machine for, for a restaurant application. I, I thought, yeah, it's okay for home, but I, I didn't want to risk it for a restaurant. On the contrary, it made a huge impact. I have shared my information with a bunch of other restaurant owners, and they are extremely skeptical. But I have changed their mind by having them come over to the restaurant and sit down and eat my food. I think all the restaurants, uh, especially chefs, they should give it a try and they will, they will definitely notice the difference. People expect something uh, unusual from a Greek restaurant and uh, so now I promote the Congan water and it's just another, another good opportunity to share our knowledge with our public. I think when you care about your customers and you care about their health, they know that it's good business practice to give your customer the best water available and it's definitely Congan water. As a restaurateur, as an owner of this business, as an as a entrepreneur, this SD501, Japanese remarkable water ionizer, has helped the restaurant business. The water affects the restaurants in every single phase of, our, of what we do, of all our operation.
and, and actually our life too because we're drinking it, we're all drinking it. Here l'opera quality uh, means everything for us. It's kind of funny that uh, a Japanese uh, uh, machine can help an Italian restaurant. I really feel that Kangen Water elevate the quality of what we do.